Oh my god. Hey there, today I'm headed to Huashan. It's known as one of the most dangerous hikes in the world and one of the most famous mountains in China. Hey, good morning. I just got ready and now I'm going to get some breakfast before I'm headed to Huashan. And my breakfast. So beautiful. Okay, it's 8.30 right now. I think this tram takes around 30 minutes. Pretty long, so you have an idea of how hard it is if you actually walked up. And once I get off the tram on top of the mountain, there is still a good amount of hiking you need to do to get to the peaks but i'm so glad this tram is here wow there's a little house and cave there wow i see like tiny little like footsteps Hashan has been known as a mountain for hermitage uh, for thousands of years in china a lot of taoist hermits would come into this mountain and then live in these caves it used to be so difficult to get here and the Taoist hermits would live here because no one can get to them and they can have the whole mountain and its peacefulness to themselves. Um, so I think I read there's maybe like 20, 30, maybe even more caves throughout the mountain where these hermits will live. And I think what I just saw was maybe one of them. Wow, that's crazy. They actually dug a hole in this mountain. World number one precipitous mountain. There are five peaks, south, west, central, north, east. I'm going to get off at north, so I think going to west first and then south, central. East and West. All right, let's go. <sighs> you can see the cart cable cart there. Uh, almost at the West Peak, but right here is a very famous landmark called Axe Chopping Rock, Fu Pi Shi. Okay, we are almost at the West Peak, but we have to climb over this.
that was the Ugh. west peak. Now we're going to the south peak. <sighs> Not easy because you're just going up. <sighs> Endless stairs. Endless stairs. That's where we just walked from, the west peak. Whew, now we're almost at the south peak. <laughs> Wow, look at that view. I heard there are some cats here in Huashan. Look who I found! A cute kitty! And I brought some cat treats with me on the mountain. Do you like? Wow! Woke up suddenly. Look! I brought two kind of cat treats. Because I'm a crazy cat lady. Which one do you like? Link Road in the Sky Not go if you are older than 55 or shorter than 1.5 meters Okay, I just got my <laughs> I just got my ticket um, for the Skype link. <laughs> so this is the path that you would take. And then you see some people coming back. So people who are coming back now, I think they gave up halfway. Probably because it's very scary. I think they just got too scared and came back. <laughs> Okay, it's uh, it's time to go. <laughs> Getting quite scared. <laughs> oh. okay, somehow I got to be the first one here. Uh, kind of nervous. <laughs> Pray for safety. Oh my god, very scary. <laughs> <laughs> so this part is very scary because of the view and they want you to go face out <laughs> oh my god. Questioning my life this is. Oh, look at this. So crazy. Uh, 
，漂亮了。你要拍啊？我给你拍啊！我给你拍。OK, almost there. Almost there. This part is much easier and better because you don't have to face the cliff. Just finished the scariest part. Now it's pretty easy from here. Okay. I guess until we return. In the past, people have fallen to their death due to unhooking the carabiner. So now it's completely locked. So when there's traffic, someone have to crawl under. <laughs> So we are back to the plank area again. <sighs> Maybe second time less scary. It's so scary to look behind. <laughs> this guy is napping. Look. We are back. That was scarier than I thought. <laughs> He's saying we are finally safe. What an experience. Here are the next groups of victims. <sighs> that was really scary. It was at the same time both more scary than I thought. Also, after I finish, less scarier than I thought. I don't know if it makes sense, but when I first got on, the first part I thought was the scariest because they told me I have to go facing outwards towards the mountain, and that was really scary having to look at the huge valley and the cliff and <laughs> thinking about not falling. I don't think there's anything like it in the world, and I'm surprised so many people are doing it. And the people who work there told me maybe 20% of the people will actually turn back at some point. So you all always have that option, but definitely worth a try. I'm now heading to the East Peak, but on the East Peak there is a pretty scary route. It's called Sparrow Hawk Flipping Over. <laughs> it sounds kind of intense. 
All right, let's go this way. Huh? So close, but so far. This is the East Peak. The East Peak is really famous for having a small chess pagoda. In order to get there, you have to take the really, really scary trail called Yao Zifanshen or Sparrow Hawk Flipping Over. Right now, we are waiting. I can't really see what's going on, but I think it's quite scary once you get to that area. I think it just drops straight down. <笑>我這裡啊直接躺就行了 <音>我說我們是一個女士<音> 好好好,可以 oh, 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 This route is full of these very steep steps Ooh. We are at the Chess Pavilion According to legend, during the Song Dynasty the emperor was playing chess with the sage Chen Tuan. After losing three games to the sage, the emperor gave him Hua Shen as a gift. I think the view here is the most beautiful. And from there down. I was just there. I say it's as scary as the sky plank walk because you do see the cliff right below you. I think the people here were a little bit more helpful. Like they would tell you where to put your feet um, and give you a little bit more freedom to explore the area. Um, but definitely try both. Central Peak Hua Shen is a sacred mountain of Taoism, one of the major religions and philosophies in China. Taoist monks have been going to Hua Shen for thousands of years. You will often see various caves scattered throughout the mountain, serving as sanctuaries for Taoist hermits. Taoist temples can be found all over Huashan. When you visit, you can still see many monks practicing and living there today. Yo Chou Bi Ying. All your wishes will be granted, it says. Along the way, you will see steps carved into the side of the mountain created by monks thousands of years ago. Steps there and there, where people used to walk. Even today, people from all over China and the world come to Huashan to pay their respects. 
Some even stay overnight on the mountain at a hotel or a campsite. I'm going to the north peak, which is the last peak, and that's the peak I will also take the cable car down. We are just passing this gate, and right here are lots of um, prayer ribbons. You can basically give an offering and get a prayer ribbon and then tie them here. I see the North Peak over there, but it's so far away. <laughs> I've been walking for, I think, at least 40 minutes, just straight downhill, very hard on your knees. I just came down. It's called Cloud Stairs. I think the worst part is over. The North Peak. <laughs> we did it today. We went to all five peaks. Thank you so much for coming with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, now I am heading to the cable car and heading down. All right. Bye.